Hello, boys and girls. It's story time with Ms. Dina. And we're going to be reading some poems from this book, Cricket in the Thicket, Poems About Bugs. All right, so this book, Cricket in the Thicket, Poems About Bugs, written by Carol Murray, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Now, I'm not going to read every poem in this book. Um, I've chosen just a few to read. Cricket's Alarm. Cricket in the thicket. Cricket. Cricket in the house. Cricket. Cricket in the bedroom, not as quiet as a mouse. Cricket. Cricket in the closet, in a pocket or a shoe. Cricket. 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 Where are you? It says only male crickets can chirp. They rub their wings together to create a mating call or to keep other males away. In Japan and China, people keep crickets as pets for their song. The next one is called Go Ants Go. Working while the world is sleeping, tugging, lugging, running, creeping. Three small letters, that is all. A N T together crawl. You can see all the little ants. The next one is called Cicada Surprise. She left a treasure on a tree as thin as paper, plain to see. We showed it to another kid, wondering what Cicada did. So if you um, ever find a lo what looks like a little shell of a bug. Those are usually cicada um, shells that they have crawled out of. Cicadas spend from two to 17 years underground, feeding on the tree roots and emerging as adults. They live in trees and number in the billions. Cicadas molt or shed their exoskeletons on tree trunks. So if you look around trees, you will, that's where you'll find these little shells that look like a bug was in them. The next one is called inchworm along, inchworming along. Inchworm travels down the trail, swifter than a slippery snail, up and down, around and through, making haste with a worm's eye view. She has a dream, a special plot. She's measuring for a garden spot. Hinchworms are similar to caterpillars. They crawl by alternately stretching their front forward and then bringing up their rear to meet it. Also called measuring worms or loopers, inchworms are the larva of moths. So if you ever see an inchworm, sorry, if you ever see an inchworm, that means it will grow up and turn into a moth. Interesting fact. Ladybug hug. Everyone loves the ladybug. She's cute and small and shy. A bright, delightful, friendly sort and pleasing to the eye. A charming little insect bringing polka dotted fun so should you want to hug a bug, this lady is the one. Surprise, the ladybug may actually be male. It's hard to tell. Ladybugs are said to bring good luck. A gardener's helper, ladybugs, rid the garden of aphids, which can damage plants. Good to know. So if you see ladybugs in your garden, that means eating all of the um, little aphids that can damage your plants. 
The next one is called Trees and Knees and Bumblebees. Rumble, rumble, bumblebee. Don't you know you're bugging me? Your buzzing in the climbing tree may make me tumble, bumblebee. Stop that rumble, bumblebee. Perhaps I'll stumble as I flee. I'll crash and crumble, skin my knee, and then I'll grumble, bumblebee. Most bumblebees are black and yellow with fine hair covering their bodies. They have long tongues like straws for gathering nectar. Many flowers will be extinct without the help of the bumblebee. Just a couple more. Grasshopper Green. Look at that big grasshopper. Grasshopper Green is a munching machine. He is built with precision and flair. His hind legs are long and exceedingly strong, like two springs as he zings through the air. Four wings let him fly, let him zip through the sky. He has jaws that are perfect for crunching. With ears near his knees and five eyes sure to please, he spends most of his time simply munching. Says like all insects, a grasshopper has three main body sections, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They can leap many times their body length. When scared or stressed, they spit out a brown liquid, often known as tobacco juice. Ugh. All right. Let's see here. What we got? Be mine, honeybee. Don't worry, little honeybee. No one will bother you. Your sting's a part of nature. Sometimes you get frightened too. You're making wax for candle glow and honey for our toast. You power up the flowers and that's what we like the most. As honeybees live in colonies made up of a queen, female workers, and male drones, honeybees are crucial in the pollination of fruits, vegetables, and other crops. Just the females, including the queen, have stingers. They sting only when frightened. Enjoy watching, but take care. So it's important that we have bees because otherwise we wouldn't have our gardens, our fruits and vegetables. And lastly, our firefly finale. We glitter and glimmer and put on a show in honor of Earth. Come and share in our glow. The fireflies. The twinkle of the firefly or lightning bug is a cold light produced without much heat. The glow comes from a chemical reaction inside the body of this small fascinating beetle. Be on the lookout for fireflies at night and share in the glow. So, as you can see, some of the insects are important for different reasons and others you don't want to have around as much um, but they do serve a purpose i hope you enjoyed this story or other poems of cricket in the thicket and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below and i will see you on the next